Today, YouTube, this is Jay Money with Following Ford Financial. Uh, just a uh, update here on uh, Village Family Farms, VFF. I've uh, talked about them in the past. Um, I've been trading this in a different Robinhood account. Uh, this account that I show here on the channel is closed, um, but I currently have 150 shares of VFF. Um, unfortunately, my cost basis is 0 0.9285, uh, so I got about a $25 loss. Um, but I've still been uh, trading it, buying on the dips. Um, you can get dips like this. I just bought some the other day at the 73 cent range. Um, but this one's really been coming down like a lot of other stocks um, that you probably have. But as you can see, back in uh, May of last year, it was a $3 stock. So I started watching this one again, started buying some of it. And probably back in January, right around the dollar range, and then it just started going down. And so I just keep buying more to uh, lower my cost basis. So don't know what else to do with it at this point in time. Um, but as you can see, they're about an 80% loss over the past year. 30% loss in the past month. Down again in the past week. They're actually green. Here a four percent, so you probably could have got it around the uh, seventy cent range. Uh, but like I said, I've talked about them a couple times. If you don't know much about them, they engage in management and operation of agricultural greenhouse facilities in the United States and Canada. Operates in the following segments. Uh, this is the reason why I got into this one uh, because of the C word. So, um, but I've been trading it off and on still have some shares um, probably at a higher cost basis than what I have in this account that I've been trading I just try not to look at this one but hopefully it'll go back up um, uh, I'm just trying to buy some at this level and buy my way back out of it so currently at uh, we'll just call it 84 million dollar market cap uh, not much volume on this one 336,000 so I've placed some orders on this one and they haven't filled and like at the 73 cent range and you can see it right at the 73 cent price when I place it and it sits there and doesn't fill so some of these that lower volume stocks it looks like it always has uh, trouble filling when I ever I buy them. So, uh, but the high is 0.769 and 0.7305 on the low. 52-week low is 0.662 and the high is four dollars and five cents. So you can see how this one's really came down. But if you could buy in here and hold it, if you don't sell it, and if it would go back up, you'd make some pretty good return on this one so uh, this is what I've been doing with it 50% uh, buy 50% hold I've been holding it more than what I've been buying so just buying little chunks here I'm afraid to buy too much for fear of it going down again so here's a past look at their earnings uh, but you can see here in the past what I was looking to pay for it so that's what it was currently at at that time And so this was a uh, higher dollar stock at one time, so just have to wait for it to uh, hit those levels again. So maybe once uh, legalization hits and all that and uh, get through elections this fall and but I mean this one has potential to be a seventeen dollar stock, so don't know if it'll do that again anytime soon, but we'll just uh, hope for the best. Over here on uh, Microsoft Bing, currently showing it as a buy with a one-year price target at 250. I'd be uh, tickled pink with a 250 price target. Village Family Farms announces launch of its uh, MJ products in Germany, so they're expanding, they're moving. So just need to get the uh, price to go back up on this one. So. Today announced the launch of the Germany MJ products grown and it's a Canadian MJ business wholly owned subsidiary Sure Sun Farms. So 
they're in the news. I mean, it's as of May 4th, so they got a lot going on. Um, I've always kind of followed this one. Um, I have kind of a MJ portfolio, and I've always had this one as part of that portfolio. It's just uh, suffered here as of lately, so uh, we'll hopefully uh, get that going back up. Might not be this year, it might be this fall, but we'll just have to wait and see. Here's a Q1 earnings, a snapshot uh, just released today, actually this morning. So on Wednesday, reported a loss of 6.6 .6 million in its first quarter, so who knows what that will do to the price. Um, could go down again, it's mm -hmm. just hard to say, we'll just have to wait and watch. So, But they're a Canada-based uh, company, said it had a loss of $0.06 cents per share. Results uh, did not meet Wall Street expectations. The average estimate of five analysts surveyed in the uh, Zacks investment research was a loss of five cents per share. Uh, moving on here, VFF International reports financial results. Again, just more information uh, released this morning. Retail branch uh, sales increased 40% year over year, again significantly outpacing uh, market growth. So maybe it'll go back up over the summer. Um, maybe people will be uh, having parties and buying the products, and you never know, just uh, speculating, just being an optimist. So that kind of goes over some more information about their uh, earnings. You can find all this on uh, Yahoo Finance. So. They delivered a 40% year-over-year uh, growth in uh, retail branded sales for the uh, first quarter. Again, sales declined 8% year-over-year. What about adjusted EBITDA? As you can see, this just came out again today. Release financial results ended on uh, March 31st. Sales decreased 8% year-over-year, 64.7 million from 70.2. So we'll see how the uh, next quarter goes up. I think it will do better. Over here on uh, Yahoo, and I see some price action. It shows that it's overvalued. Already went over the majority of that information over here on StockTwits. Currently at 0.7525. Uh, that'll be the next thing if they don't get it back up above a dollar it'll uh, face well that'll be a couple months uh, sometimes I've seen it take up to a year um, getting taken off of the uh, major exchanges so if it doesn't get the price back up above a dollar complement each other so they are both headed right and now in particular to be headed uh, value and business adds to their cultivation experience so like I said it's got a lot of potential I mean there's always been good talk about this one announces launch of its MJ products in uh, Germany so maybe that will help the uh, stock price as well Tip ranks is currently shown as a moderate buy out of three ratings with a $2.50 um, price tag, and that's the low and the high. Some of these, when they're under a dollar, they do the low and the high, all of that the same. So it's always kind of interesting. Over here on uh, Microsoft, currently at 0.7525. Analysts are showing it as a buy with an upside to $2.13. Uh, that's all that I have on uh, VFF. If you have this one, go ahead and list it in the uh, comments along with your cost basis. If you're trading it, uh, I'm sure you're holding it. Uh, list your cost basis. That would be interesting. Like I said, mine's uh, 0.92 in this other Robinhood account that I've been trading. So, uh, And it hasn't been at that level uh, for quite some time. So, uh, like I said, I'm just continuing to buy it and lower my cost basis, so hopefully it doesn't keep going lower and lower. Hopefully it's kind of plateaued after this dip and stay in the 70 cent range, and then I can get back out of it. So, But that's it for this one. Um, if you haven't smashed that like button yet, go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing, and hit the bell so you're notified of when the next videos drop. Again, this is Jay Money following Ford Financial. 
Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.